see if p upon q is equal to 3.74 that means p is equal to 3.74 times q q must be a multiple of 50 or something so that this becomes an integer p is an integer we know for sure now coming to which of the following must be a factor of p we can't say for sure that 4 is a factor if q is equal to 50 the answer is no if q is equal to 200 the answer is yes or if q is equal to 400 and all the answer is yes so this doesn't have to be must be this doesn't qualify 11 see the divisibility of 11 is that you find the sum of alternate numbers 3 and 4 is 7 and subtract it from the sum of the alternate numbers 0 so 374 we know we know anyway is a multiple of 11 and anything when q is multiplied this will remain a multiple of 11 so this would be definitely a factor of q sorry p and 3.74 is again a multiple of 17 17 into 2 point 17 into 2.22 would lead to 3.74 or 17 into 22 will lead, lead to 374 okay these fractions would anyway go because p has to be an integer so originally 17 has to be a factor 2 and 3 only